Just, just the comments, because once again, I came here to tell the truth. And once again, I tell. I don't know what was written in Argumenti Facti. Argumenti Facti is a newspaper, it's an independent newspaper where many Armenians work. And we in Azerbaijan know the number of Armenians who run the leading Russian press. So they can write whatever they want. Therefore, I refer to the official statement of the former president of Azerbaijan, Ayaz Mutalibov, who said that he never said that. So now look, the president, the former president, his word, and the word of one pro-Armenian or Armenian journalist, which has more value. This is first thing. About uh, Shaoman, uh, uh, Mr. Prime Minister was just uh, pointing that it was Stalin who made a decision to give Nagorno-Karabakh to Azerbaijan, which is wrong, because again, look at the Caucasus Bureau, July 1921, when it is said to retain Nagorno-Karabakh in Azerbaijan and not to transfer it to Azerbaijan. But if he doesn't like Stalin so much, it's strange why he likes so much Shaoman, because Shaoman was one of the Bolsheviks. He was a person who killed innocent Azerbaijanis. And today's so-called capital of Nagorno-Karabakh is named after his name. The question, if Nagorno-Karabakh is an ancient Armenian territory, why doesn't it have the ancient Armenian name for the capital? Because the ancient name for the capital is Khan Kandi, the village of the Khan. And the Stepanakert, because Shaoman's name was Stepan, Kert means city, is that right in Armenia? Stepanakert was named in the name of that Bolshevik. So that once again proves that there was no Armenian historical legacy on those territories. And coming back to from where I began, this historical issue is important for understanding how the conflict should be resolved.